Hi, welcome back to Hannity. We are continuing to monitor the war in Israel with Hamas here for a Hannity exclusive interview, her first since the terror attacks this past weekend. Former Secretary of State, current director of the Hoover Institution, and by the way, a member of Augusta, of which I'm very jealous, uh, Condoleezza Rice is with us. Uh, Dr. Rice, great to have you. I've not seen you in a long time. Um, I know it has you. It's been a long time, Sean. Good to be with you. Great to have you, uh, as usual. Um, you know a lot about terror. You know, I, when you extrapolate out, I've been trying to give perspective as to how big this attack was. Over 1,200 dead Israelis as of now, and there probably will be more by the time the count is, is full and complete. And when you extrapolate that out and you look at the, uh, the Israeli population and you apply that same percentage to the U.S. population, it'd be the equivalent of losing over 37,000 Americans in a single day. We lost 2,977 people on a day you know well, 9-11-01. And I, I, the magnitude of that, I don't know if people understand it around the world. What does it mean to you? Well, the magnitude of it is extraordinary. And uh, I've said to people, Sean, yes, uh, there are the lives that were lost in that way, but it would be as if uh, the terrorists then went into small New York towns and slaughtered people up close, that they exterminated people, uh, that they cut off the heads of, of babies. Uh, this, the scale of this brutality and this barbarity is something that we really haven't seen in a very, very long time. And uh, I think you have to you have to look at both sides of it. The, the loss of life is horrendous, but what the people of Israel are feeling in terms of the shock of what this was like, uh, I, I just can't even imagine it, even after having been myself the national security advisor on September 11th. Are you as shocked as I am at the level of anti-Semitism that we've seen both around the world, on our own college campuses and cities? Uh, and, and towns across this country. Did you ever think you'd see people in, in Australia uh, saying, gas the Jews, F the Jews, uh, or have, you know, tomorrow a, a day of jihad uh, all over the world, which should scare anybody uh, in any city that would be a target? Um, pretty frightening times. Madam Secretary. It is, and I'm very, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked by it, and I'm saddened by it, uh, Sean, because uh, uh, Anti-Semitism, look, is always just beneath the surface in a lot of places. I did a lot of work with the, uh, the uh, Anti-Defamation League when I was uh, secretary. I spoke at a couple of uh, events that they had. And uh, this kind of hatred uh, is something that I am afraid has been a part of the fabric, unfortunately, of civilized places for a long time. And so, yes, I'm saddened, but I, I also am hopeful that uh, there are voices that are speaking uh, strongly about the hate that they, this is, that are speaking about and condemning this terrorist attack. And that's, that's what it was. It's a brutal terrorist attack of the kind that we haven't seen since perhaps, uh, perhaps ISIS was uh, roaming around the Middle East. And so, yes, it's, it's sad. Um, I do think it's an opportunity in places like our own universities uh, to say to our students, take the time to understand uh, this, this conflict in the Middle East, understand that Israelis have tried uh, to help Palestinians to a two-state solution, and a lot of decent Palestinians have tried to. And every time we've gotten close to peace, Hamas and Hezbollah and Palestinian Islamic Jihad have uh, done something to dash the hopes of uh, innocent Palestinians. And so uh, they, they, these are not the, uh, the liberators of the Palestinian people. These are the oppressors of the Palestinian people. And these, of course, are uh, the barbarians who attacked the Israelis. What do you make of the reports, Wall Street Journal and many other sources, and even Hamas and, and Hezbollah, leaders themselves admitting that Iran's involvement in this. Iran is the number one state sponsor of terror. Um, to me, yes. uh, I think they've got to be held accountable. To me, that would mean military action in this sense, and I'm not saying necessarily even by the United States, uh, taking out their refineries, because that is the source of their income to fund terror. And number two, uh, we know where these nuclear facilities are. And if there is ever a marriage between the radical Mullah's ideology and weapons of mass destruction, 
I believe they would use them. But these sites where we know are located, deep buried underground, it would be a very difficult military mission to take them out. But I think the world has to, at some point, probably soon, take them out. Your reaction? Well, I would start by saying that, uh, yes, Iran, a state sponsor of terrorism, uh, bears uh, some responsibility for what has happened. I know there are questions about how directly were they involved. But, you know, we know that Iran is the major, the, the primary funder of, Hezbollah, of, uh, of Hamas and uh, Palestinian Islamic Jihad. They are the trainer of uh, these groups. Uh, and, of course, they were celebrating in Tehran when this happened. Uh, the question of what we do more broadly about Iran, I think, is an important one. Uh, for starts, uh, let's not go back to the pretense that we can have an agreement with the Iranians about their nuclear facilities. Uh, let's not uh, go back to the place where we're releasing funding to the Iranian mullahs, who then uh, just use that funding uh, for Hezbollah and Hamas. That would be a good start. And let's try again to isolate the Iranians in the way that we had earlier uh, in uh, the Bush administration and in the Trump administration. Uh, the idea that you can you can deal with the Iranians, you might find reasonable ways to deal with the Iranians. It seems to me that this is just one more example of what we've seen over this last uh, few days, uh, that the Iranians are a revisionist power. They are the most dangerous uh, power in the region. And, oh, by the way, Sean, uh, we gave up military facilities in Afghanistan, uh, a country that uh, has a hundreds-long kilometer border with Iran. Uh, that was a mistake in its own right. And so uh, how to deal with uh, Iran, uh, I think it starts with isolating them. I think it starts with what actually the Biden administration has done. I think sending the carrier battle groups uh, into the region uh, is a good idea. But uh, this should really uh, erase any notion that the Iranian regime can be dealt with. Former Secretary of State uh, Condoleezza Rice, it's been way too long. Great to have you back. Good to see you. Thank you for being with us. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.